I'm helping Evan, Myla, and Mia pick out a few books. The library is a great place to find a variety of books, and you can enjoy them at home, too. So what can you do as a parent to make sure that your child develops a love for reading? Well, first, you have to make sure your child sees you reading. Research says that children who see their parents reading books, magazines, and newspapers develop an interest in reading themselves. Then, have an assortment of books available so your child can have a choice. There are many genres or kinds of books for children to enjoy with adults. Let your child help you choose books that are based on his interests. It helps if you find them interesting, too. I like this. This is some good illustration. Look at this one. I like this nonfiction book. It's also a good idea to read the book on your own before reading to your child. If you have time, you can use this as an opportunity to look for interesting words and pictures, practice entertaining ways of reading, and think about connections you or your family have to the story that you can talk about with your child as you read. These are great ways to increase your child's level of interest. As you begin to read, remember that a great deal of engagement comes from how you read the story. Read with enthusiasm and expression in your voice. Be sure to slow down when you read. And then you can start adding vocal variations to make the reading fun. Inside, outside, upside down. From head to toe, all around. Try like matching your voice to the actions it's described. The little billy goat one. might sound like trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap as he walks over the bridge. However, the big billy goat might sound like Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, as he crosses the bridge. If you want to make it even more engaging, use different voices for each of the characters. For example, the old red squirrel yawned and said, oh, I'm so tired. Don't go to sleep yet, squeaked the little squirrel. I still want to play. Don't forget to use facial expressions, body movements, and gestures as you read. This is what makes a story come alive. You can also keep your child engaged by pointing to the words you're reading, directing his attention to the pictures, and emphasizing interesting aspects of the text. Look for books that repeat a phrase over and over, as children love it when they can anticipate or predict what's coming next. The pictures in children's books are just as important as the text. Talk about the pictures as you read. What kind of animal is this? Look at the expression on this squirrel's face. What do you think the squirrel is going to do with that paint? When you finish a book, keep them thinking about the story by having a conversation about it. Ask them what they thought of the story, the pictures, and the characters. For example, what was your favorite thing the little squirrel did in the book? Make real-life connections with the story, like, look how happy that grandma squirrel was when she got her picture. I remember how happy you made your grandma when you gave her that necklace you made. Children remember and comprehend books better when they can make connections to their own experiences. If your child enjoys one book, you might try others by the same author. And even though it may get a little old for you, it's very important to reread the same story over time. It's what helps the child understand story language and make the connection between the spoken language and the written word. Like most parents, you may assume that reading only helps build your child's vocabulary and literacy skills. Actually, the act of reading provides the opportunity to engage in many important math concepts, such as the sequence and patterns of stories. Every story has a beginning, middle, and end. And many stories have patterns. Three sizes of bears, three sizes of bowls, three sizes of chairs, three sizes of beds. You can also choose nonfiction books that emphasize mathematics, like counting or comparing. While you're reading, count small sets of objects. How many flowers are on this page? Let's count them. Compare these amounts. Are there more flowers or trees on this page? Here's someone who knows the importance of reading with preschoolers. Hi, I'm Cassandra Hart. I'm a second grade teacher and I've been teaching for 11 years and I have two wonderful boys. Children love reading, love when you read to them in character. It brings life to the book. It makes it more fun and interesting to read. 
Sometimes we read the same book over and over. They have that one book that they love to read, but that's okay because it really develops fluency. You can really talk about the characters, change the characters up, especially if you read the book over and over again. That child really becomes familiar with the book and may know if you skip a page. So it's very important that you really change your voice. Be very enthusiastic when you're reading the book and really get into characters. With my two now, they're three and they're six, so they know we read all the time. When they come home from school, we're reading. Sometimes in the morning before school, we're reading. But our special reading time is at night, right before bed. We crawl into bed, we snuggle up, and they pick as many books as they want. I usually do a limit of three. We talk about reading all the time. So reading is a part of our everyday life, and it really makes me feel good when I know that I see my children picking up a book without me telling them, go ahead and go read, then I know I've done something great. The best advice is to make reading together part of your daily routine. For some families, that's bedtime. When is a good time for your family? When you read, try to eliminate any distractions and possible interruptions. Turn off the TV and cell phones. Also, make sure that everyone is comfortable and that your child can see the pictures and the text. Your attention to these details will convey to your child that reading is important and something you are really looking forward to doing with him. Don't forget that you are your child's most important role model. If he sees you reading, he'll want to read too. For more information and for a recommended list of books for preschoolers, check out our website.